All right. Tutorial number three for today. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to get ourselves a little bit of hard bodied animation out of Blender into CryEngine. All right, we're not going to worry about materials or anything like that. Uh, what we're going to do first is we are going to just apply a simple up down. Well, what the heck, we'll make it interesting. We'll go ahead and apply it up down and revolving animation at the same time. All right, now uh, what we're going to do is down here in the timeline, We'll go ahead and click our little record button. And just to get things going, we are going to move our cube up and up a little bit and then back down to the starting point. So we'll just go GZ1, brings it up. As you'll notice down here, this turns yellow. And then we're going to go GZ-1 to put us right back in our starting position. Now this records it for us right here as you can see it's yellow and uh, we'll come on over here to frame 30 for our one second of animation because we're going to tween between these two. God bless the animation package. And we're going to GZ1. Uh, no, we're going to GZ2. Give us a little more movement there. And it turns yellow again. And we'll come back down here to 60. And we're going to go GZ negative 2. That brings us right back to our starting position. Alright, so. Since how we've got 60 frames here. What we're going to do is get our end frame at 60. Is, uh, maybe in the next release I'll... I'll yeah, I'm going to have to. The next release you're going to have a uh, frame range to where you can select what frame range you need because with the skeletal export you're going to be able to uh, you're going to need that so because we have to rely on BVH uh, motion files instead of the biped motion files so we're going to need to be able to select frame range, ranges for our skeleton uh, which will apply to the uh, hard bodied animation too. But anyway, as you can see, it goes up and down. All right, what we're going to do is we'll come back on up to here, and we will rotate Z. Uh, ba -ba 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 90. Okay. So that brings this up and down like that. Okay. Now, over here, where it says animation, you see where it says cube action. We're just going to go ahead and name that to something that we can recognize later on. We'll call that up, down for the time being. Alright, now with our cube selected. Oh, one more thing. Our frame rate. Uh, over here. We'll go ahead and set that to 30. Alright, now back up here. we got up, down. we got our cube selected. We're going to add a cry export node. And we'll name that animated cube one. All right, now we've got that. We'll go ahead and save it in our Blender folder, in our game objects folder. Animated cube one, which that's going to be fine. Save it as a Blender file. Make sure we've got ourselves a UV map on there. There we go. Uh, that does matter. And then we're going to um, I'll save it just for the heck of it. We'll go to our export. Instead of CGF, we're going to choose CGA for uh, I guess it's Crytek Geometry Animated. And we'll run the resource compiler. Export to game. See our progress. Of course, material gives us fits, but it's not going to hit anything, hurt anything. Then we're going to come over here and get into our uh, level here. And we're going to go to our geometry en en entity. Pardon me. Got our animated cube one. We'll go ahead and drag him on over here. And then we're going to go to the flow graph and click on create. And we'll go uh, test one. 
and that brings up our flow graph. Now, in order to see this, we'll go to Add Node, Animations, Play Animation, choose Entity, right click on it, Assign Selected, uh, Animation, click on it, and there's our up down, just like we named it. And then over here, we want it to loop and force update. Okay, that takes care of that. Now we're going to add another node. So when we start the level, it will start the animation. Go to start, and that'll be that. Now when we come in here and we start our game, as you can see, we have our animation. Yay! Okay, now... Anyway, now let's go back into Blender here. Okay, because we're going to cover the second part of what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and add another cube. Go ahead and bring it on out here. And, uh... That's awesome, I guess, because I've got the record button hit, it automatically put an action in there. But, anyway, uh, we'll go ahead and set our material up to that, to the same material as the other. Add a UV map. Go back to it. We'll add it to the Cry Export Animated Cube 1. So we're going to, after we add it to the group, then we can change the name to 2, and it'll keep that we don't end up with a ton of groups we're just changing the name of the group alright then we're going to select this cube first and then we'll select the original one we're going to select this one first then shift select that one control P and we'll parent it and now whenever we uh, play you can see that it goes ahead and follows right along with it now for this one what we want to do is we want to go ahead and we're going to rotate x 90 enter now you can see here Y. Let's see what happens here. There we go. Alright. Now we've got two animations here. But, alright, uh, rotate. That's what we'll call that. But here's the problem. If we export this just like it is, it's going to give us two animations an up, down, and a rotate. Now, I haven't figured out how, maybe it's me, maybe it's not, I don't know, but I don't know how to make both of those animations play at the same time when they're separate. So, go file, save it, just in case something happens. Okay, then we're going to go to export to game, we'll choose CGA again, and then we're going to choose right here where it says merge anim. Okay, now what this is going to do is it's going to merge both of the animations together and it's going to choose the name of the parented one, the first one. Alright, uh, which we're, we will go ahead and rename that up, down, slash, rotate. Alright, now we will export it to game, CGA, merge anim, and run the resource compiler, export. And one error, why do we have an error? Hmm. Maybe it's that space there. Try this again. Yep. Can't have a, a dash in there. Alright. That's fine. Alright. Now we'll come over here. Geometry entry. Reload. Animated cube 2. 
Go ahead and place it. And we will create a flow node again. Test two. Enter. Drag this back. Add node just like we did before. Play animation. Choose selected, assign selected animation. Up down RT. OK. Loop. Force update. Add node. MISC start output to start bring you back over here and now control G there we go that's how we get two animations going at once possibilities uh, you can only parent four levels deep okay so parent child uh, which would be a child of a parent and then a child of anyway it, when you look at your parent uh, list there can only be four items in there in a chain uh, your parent can uh, have 50 children and those 50 children can have 50 more children apiece but it can only go four levels deep okay kind of like an apartment complex you know you can have four stories and that's all alright Anyway, that's it for the animation. Have fun.